Hey guys, uh, quick update. Um, so by the time you're watching this, this will be after the fact, but this is two days before Reading Comic Con, which is on the 13th and 14th of October. This today is the 11th, and I'm actually at the BBC Radio Studios here in Caversham in Reading. Um, the journalist at BBC reached out to me and saw my work and the fact that I'll be a guest artist at Reading Comic Con and they wanted to talk to me uh, about my art and give a little bit of insight into what life is like at Artist Alley in, in a thing called Comic Con. Um, so it'd be great uh, to sp spread the awareness, uh, get exposure for my art. Uh, I'm not going to lie, a little bit nervous because uh, I'll be doing an interview and I'll actually be drawing the presenter afterwards and they'll be checking in on me. Um, so without further ado, um, let's go check it out. Okay guys, so here we are, we're actually inside BBC Radio Berkshire headquarters, just in the dining room, just met with the producer just now, he's giving me some coffee, just to settle in, and we'll be going in in about 10 minutes, um, so I'm just getting my stuff together, uh, my drawing materials, um, obviously exposure to Comic Con, exposure to my work, and um, yeah, looking forward to a nice chat and uh, hopefully do some, some good work for, for the crew. See you in a bit, bye. BBC Radio Berkshire, it's coming up to 10 minutes to 11 o'clock. James Martin on the way after 11. Now, this weekend, the Reading Comic Con returns. And although hundreds of eager fans will be descending on the town to celebrate, uh, I have to admit, to be honest, it goes a bit over my head. I don't really know what's involved. Um, it is a world that I know nothing about. And so this morning, what we thought we'd do is invite a local comic style artist into the studio to not only explain what it's all about as an event to shed a bit more light onto the kind of comic book art scene and also to create a very own version of the Sarah Walker show in comic book style. His name is Amos. He's with me now. And you, you are not, so you don't, you're not an artist that draws comic strips, basically, but you are a comic book style artist, I understand. Is that a fair description of your talents? Uh, first of all, good morning and thanks for having me on. Uh, in terms of my art, uh, yeah, you're right. I don't do sequential comic book art like your typical comic book artist. It's more, it's more inspired by um, the characters who play them on TV and film. So it's more of a realistic representation uh, versus this more sort of overly stylized uh, things that you see in a comic. So it's more sort of uh, comic uh, poster style art as opposed okay. to um, books. So what sort of things do you draw? What have you drawn in the past? Give us an idea of, of what your uh, portfolio may look like. Um, so anything from pop culture media, really. So if you if think about, th you think of sort of a geekdom as in Comic Con, you think of your Indiana Jones, your Iron Mans, your, your Avengers, uh, but not the comic book versions of them. So it will be Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man. Um, it will be Chris Evans as Captain America. Um, so I post all of that stuff on my social media um, and uh, thankfully have, uh, you know, built up quite a bit of a following for people who like what they call in industry fan art. Okay. Um, so it's a, it's a fan, you know, fantastic representation of, the, of, uh, sort of all of those uh, things that encompass pop culture media. And it could be anything. It could be horror. It could be, could be uh, comics. could be adventure. It could be anything. Okay, so kind of real life versions of, of comic book style art is, yes. where it, is what it sounds like anyway. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Um, provide me with a bit of an idiot's guide as to mm -hmm. what the Comic Con is. What, what's involved? What do people do there? So a Comic Con is a convention for all enthusiasts of comic books and comic book related media. So you, the attendees there will be fans of the guests that are attending and the guests will be uh, either a comic book artist, writers, publishers, um, actors from their TV and film counterparts. So they'll be, they'll be there to get autographs, reach out to them. Some of the writers will do um, uh, do, do talks on how to get into the industry mm -hmm. or just uh, you know provide some inspiring words. But then on the other side of it, you'll have the independent artists who work in a section of the hall called Artist Alley. That's generally where I am. So okay. I'm an in independent vendor. Yeah. Um, and I will uh, yeah, showcase my own art and people will reach out if, 
if, if they want to you know buy some art and and sometimes it adds a bit of value by you know, not only buying the art but you get to know the artist okay and the story behind it yeah yeah and i, I guess it sounds as though that there's the potential for quite a lot of superhero style people to be in the same place at the same time is that right so people who may have played them previously or people who may be quite big characters in those sorts of things is that about yeah, right? yeah that's, that's correct so you'll have the people who actually play them but then you'll have the fans who are attendees who actually dress up as them oh really so you'll have people you know more than your typical halloween costume these guys will go all out and they'll do you know 3d printing for costumes yeah. they'll go to, go to all the ends of the earth for the best makeup and they'll literally look like their movie counterparts or as, as, it, as you can as someone who spends quite a lot of time at the birthday parties of five-year-olds because i have one as opposed yes. to because i like to hang out in those places i hasten to add and um, when you walk into these village halls on a saturday afternoon uh, invariably you cannot move for batman batman is the superhero of choice to be certainly in Tadley right now yeah. uh, when you go to a comic con like Reading for example uh, is there one particular character that people are largely dressing up as um, it depends on the comic con that you're at uh, I would say it's any one of the Avengers really yeah any one of the Avengers I would say Thanos is big now so I don't even know who Thanos is and I've got so, two kids so he's the big purple guy from the last Avengers film if, right. if that rings any bells okay but um like you say Batman is a staple of that kind of uh lexicon if you like yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. so you're, you're not so we've set you a bit of a challenge yes. this morning. Uh, not only do you have to endure two hours of my company, but you also <laughs> have to uh, recreate the show in kind of comic book style form. Yes. What will you start with? I mean, when you start to draw people, right, what, what's the feature that you start with first? Uh, I generally start from general to specific. So if I'm drawing a head and shoulders or yeah. drawing a, a, a full portrait, I will start by looking at the general features, you know, um, the top of the cranium to the bottom of the chin. Yeah. Um, and then I start building inwards uh, the key features that create a likeness where you might say, oh, that's Sarah or that's uh, Alex or whoever, yeah. um, are generally the eyes, nose and the mouth. So okay. those, those are very descriptive of someone's personality. So yeah. that's kind of what I focus on and build outwards. Um, I will point out now, I'm not necessarily looking for realism, just okay. generosity in your okay. pictures, if <laughs> sure, that's okay. Sure. So if you could just do the best side as opposed to the most realistic side okay. i'd appreciate that i'll do what i can yeah okay i look forward to it we'll keep you up to date i'll tell you what i'll um, i'll post uh, the results of all of this on twitter a little bit later on as well and we'll check in with amos throughout the show to see how he's getting on uh, that's amos a local artist who specializes in comic book inspired art bringing the show to comic book form today digital and online at bbc.co.uk slash radio berkshire this is bbc radio berkshire BBC Radio Berkshire, it's 11 o'clock. How alarming does it feel to have Emma starting to draw you as you read the news? Very alarming. Yeah. I, I, because I, I'm realised I'm crossing my hands in a funny way and I'm right. putting my head... I, I don't know, you're very self-conscious, aren't you? Well, as I've said to him, uh, feel free to not necessarily be realistic but just generous yes. with the comic strip that he's creating of the show for us this morning. Are there any special requests? I would rather my massive head not be reflected... <laughs> In pictorial well, form. I'll have a bit of your head. Cause okay, got you've got a very it. small head, haven't you, mm. actually? So Sam would like her head to be a bit fuller and I would like mine to be a bit smaller. Uh, any more requests that you think of throughout well, the morning? Yes, just... the Jimmy Hill chin needs to go as well. Right, okay. My uh, double chin needs to go as well, if you don't <laughs> mind. <laughs> well, let's throw that into the recycling basket whilst we can. Uh, right, weather today. Uh, cloudy this afternoon with showers turning drier and brighter later, though. Highs of 21, that's 70 Fahrenheit. If you're wondering what on earth we're banging on about, uh, Amos, local artist specialising in comic book inspired art, is with us in the studio this morning ahead of Reading Comic Con this weekend, drawing a kind of sketch of the show. Uh, we'll be catching up with him throughout the show to see how he's getting on. Uh, coming up then, TV chef James Martin, who's coming to Basingstoke this weekend. He'll be here to tell us just what that's going to involve and how much he's changed his life over the last 12 months or so as well. Berkshire News and Berkshire Stories with Sarah Walker. BBC Radio Berkshire. 
BBC Radio Berkshire. It's coming up to half past 11. We'll get a check on the roads in a moment. In the meantime, we need to check back in with Amos, who's with us in the studio. Uh, Amos is an artist from Reading, so ahead of this weekend's uh, Reading Comic Con, where basically loads of uh, comic fans gather in one place to kind of pay tribute to uh, comic book characters and illustrators everywhere. Um, Amos is in the studio not only to explain a little bit more about um, things like the Comic-Con, but also to create uh, this show in comic book form, if you like. Now, I, the, the full extent of this thing of beauty will not be revealed to me until a little bit later on in the show. So I don't want to see exactly what you've done so far, Amos, but how are you getting on in the process? What have you started with initially, by the way? Uh, well, quite naturally, I've started with yourself, Sarah. You're, oh, obviously, you're, 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 you're uh, front and center in yeah. this uh, picture. So right. um, I've just roughed out your your head and shoulders in pencil. I'll be going over in marker just to give it a bit more dynamic feel. And okay. now I just started with, with Martin, who's your uh, sorry with James, who's your guest earlier on. Yeah. And you guys are kind of getting a little bit cozy uh, in this uh, studio oh, shot. Right. Here. Some sort of fantasy arrangement that well, I wasn't you know, necessarily you know, expecting. Fantastical art and all that sort yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So absolutely. Please yeah. make sure we're clothed, by the way, Amos. Yeah, so yeah, I don't yeah, want to no, get no, this no, yeah. weird this is, territory. This, this, is, this is completely, you know, P, uh, you know PG, PG okay. art. All right. Uh, ch children are allowed to uh, observe absolutely. it. We will be tweeting the results of Amos's fine work a little bit later on in the show. BBC Radio Berkshire Sport. So Tim zambled into the studio, uh, glancing momentarily at uh, Amos's depiction of me um, for our comic book creation to be revealed a little bit later on. I mm. don't like the look on your face. No, no, the I've, they've uh, provided a very old photo of me. Right, so because what we're suggests... trying to do, we're, we're capturing all of the um, the characters on the show, but the thing is, the likes of you are in and out, and obviously um, Amos doesn't get much time to draw you, so no. we have to provide him with a picture to go with it so yeah, he can get the true enough. likeness. Yes. So what we're saying is we provided him with a likeness uh, from about 20 years ago. Which is yeah. no bad thing. It's not I'm actually playing cricket and... Uh... Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's not a bad photo. Yeah, you look I like lo you're admiring it I quite I a lot. I wish I like that now. <laughs> <laughs> well, this all bodes well for how you'll turn out in the final picture, doesn't okay, it? Let's yeah, face let's it. Digital and online at bbc.co.uk slash Radio Berkshire. This is BBC Radio Berkshire. So, worryingly, you have done exactly what Tim did about half an hour ago. And when you walked into this studio, you glanced at the work of Amos, who's an uh, artist who is sketching the show in comic book form for us throughout mm. the show, and did that kind of wry smile, which makes me alarmed, to say the very least. I've deliberately not looked at what he's <laughs> creating at the moment, well, but he's putting together all of us on the show in kind of comic book style, and he'll reveal, we'll do the big reveal in about half an hour's time, just over mm. half an hour's time. What are your uh, top line thoughts on what you've seen well, so I'm far? I'm hoping what I saw was Tim and not you. But I mean, right? Okay, that's great news. That is, that's what? absolutely brilliant. What? what, what so you're basically what? saying he's he's drawing me like a man? Is that what we're suggesting? Amos, what have you got to say for yourself? I mean, let's bring uh, you in here. No, I can I can only draw what I see. Right, that's and, worrying, and isn't that's it? Not, that is terrifying. That's, and, that's, I, that's, and that's not what I see, by the way. I told you to be oh. sympathetic, by the way, sympathetic in your drawing, and to feel generous as opposed to necessarily feeling as though it needed to. be be uh, realism on paper so I'm hoping that we're we're kind of airbrushing out some of the bits that we might not might not like about ourselves I, you I, want to be just noted Tim's forehead stood right. out okay you see I've got a massive forehead which does not bode well for me does it I'm not necessarily looking forward to this big reveal oh. have you spotted your own head in there no I haven't an hour ago you, you said you wanted a bigger one <laughs> and then we can't see it that's how small it is for goodness sake uh, he does. He, he does assure me that we're clothed. There's no nakedness yet, Amos. Right? Are we still no, on not that? yet. No, no. It's uh, not yet. It's uh, completely uh, fully clothed. Okay, for now. Right. Goodness knows which of us will be naked. We uh, wait with bated breath. Right. What's the weather doing today? Cloudy this afternoon with showers. Drier later though. Highs of 21. That's 70 Fahrenheit. Berkshire News and Berkshire Stories with Sarah Walker, BBC Radio Berkshire. 20 past 12. Going to catch up with Amos very shortly, our uh, local artist who has been drawing the show in comic book form in tribute to the fact that it's Reading Comic Con this coming weekend. Uh, we'll be catching up to see what uh, masterpiece he has created. 25 minutes to one o'clock. Bill Buckley will be here from one. We'll catch up with him very shortly and see what he's got planned for you. Uh, meantime, Sammers is back in the studio. Um, will you stop wandering into the studio, glancing at uh, Amma's work? It's really coming and, to shape uh, now. It's and, brilliant. Well, there's something slightly sadistic about the grin that you keep giving me <laughs> every time you look at this picture. Oh. 
Um, so let's just remind ourselves then of the challenge that we threw at Amos uh, a little bit earlier on in the show. So basically, Amos is a local artist who specialises in comic book inspired art. So he doesn't necessarily draw uh, comic sketches, if you like, but he is inspired by this kind of art. He's going to be in uh, this weekend's Reading Comic Con, which is coming to the town and basically playing homage to all things comic related, really, from the characters that we see in our comics uh, to the the illustrators behind these things and it's basically an opportunity for everyone in the comic world to get together and have a good old geek together about comics is that is that a fair description of what actually goes on amas would you say yeah that's that sums up pretty much perfectly yeah so we decided to get amazon to tell us exactly what the comic con is uh, followed by uh, an almost impossible task because amas has had to sit in the studio with me all morning which is purgatory for many uh, whilst depicting the show the entire show in kind of comic form. So uh, what we thought we'd do is uh, give him sort of timed conditions in order to complete this, right? And then uh, we have the big reveal now. Why are you putting that what face the- again? <laughs> Stop putting that face. I can't help but feel I'm the butt of the joke here, right? Because Amos has been given uh, pictures of everybody on the team from about 20 years ago. And then, no, then, and then it's just years. me today, right? Just how I look aged 40 in 2018. So I'm not entirely happy with the whole thing. Uh, Amos told us it could be done. I told him to be sympathetic. I'm going to put the final uh, clock on this now because you've got 30 seconds, Amos, to uh, finish okay. the final draw. I don't want to make you feel tense, but I will do by playing the countdown clock. Uh, I keep hearing the wild scrubbing of some kind of sharpie pen mm. in the background, by the way. Does it look as though it's all coming together it now, is. Sam? And all the shading's going in there. And it's uh, Much it's... shading. Oh, yeah, a touch of Mona Lisa about you. Right. There's no <laughs> facial hair involved, is there? I just want to... <laughs> I don't want to be drawn in that way, if you don't mind. Okay, so um, Sam, uh, why are you laughing again? Oh, what, I'm what sorry, is it? But no, you wait and see. Right. Okay. Can we can, we can we see? Because you've had a casual glimpse every now and yeah. again. Tim's had a casual glimpse as well. Can I get to see the big results here? Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Okay. Oh my! <laughs> I have got a massive head. What's that? that, that a massive bloated head is what that looks like. Everybody it, else. It does seem no. It's had some sympathetic. Head, James's head is bigger, but he's looking. Only very ha- mu- he's just- looking handsome. I think we've all. Oh, Tim. Tim. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm quite he's, pleased with that, actually. The mouth is open on Tim. You're looking a bit gormless, yes, isn't he? Yes, he is looking a bit gormless. I mean, I've got to be honest, that is really impressive. It in, is brilliant. Like in it. no way is this a reflection yeah. of, of poor artistry on no. Alice's part. Um, but I am slightly concerned that my head is only fractionally smaller than James Martin's, who's a man. I mean, that's the bit that worries me. But um, aside from that, so we've got... Describe the scene for us, Sam, because you're closer to it and not obscured by various well, monitors. you are very, very close to James, all cuddled up there, yes, looking I am. very, very friendly. We Tim's look a little look... bit like a showbiz couple there, don't we? We do. Yeah. I mean, you do. Yeah. Uh, I'm just behind you with my hands around your waist. Oh, yes, you are! <laughs> What's going on there? What are you doing there? <laughs> Sarah's been very protective over James, I think. Right, yeah. I'm also wondering where Sam's hand is, to be honest. Your hand seems to have disappeared from view. Okay, and in the meantime, we've got um, Tim, who do- it just looks like he's wandered in and not really with any yeah, purpose like, or knows what I? he's doing. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Mm. It's like he's just woken up. And then we've got some microphones and an on-air uh, light in the background. That is really impressive to pull that together out mm. of nowhere, isn't it? Really impressive. Um, so, Amos, we're going to put this up on Twitter, by the way. So if you look us up on Twitter, if you look me up, if you look at uh, BBC Barkshire, up on Twitter, you can see the finished result. Um, people can come and track you down this weekend at the Reading Comic Con. And where exactly will you be? Uh, so the section of the Comic Con in Reading. Well, the Comic Con is at the Rivermead uh, Leisure Complex and Gym in Reading itself. Uh, I will be at the guest artist section. I'm sure there will be directions when you get on site. Um, and you can find me there. Uh, if not, if you're not around, uh, you can find me on all social media. It's just at Amas Bansal Art. That's A M A S B A N S A L Art. And you can just track me down if you want to reach out and, and just say hi, really. I mean, naturally, you will be creating that en masse ahead of Reading Comic Con should people want uh, copies of this show in comic book form, right? Correct. That was yeah. the plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll get on to signing it in a few moments' time. I'm sure you'll be overwhelmed by demand. Um, lovely to see you. Thank you very much for coming in. Thanks and, for having uh, me. Cheers, and also guys. creating that. It's really, really impressive. Uh, that's Amazon on BBC Radio Berkshire. Berkshire News and Berkshire Stories with Sarah Walker. BBC Radio Berkshire. Berkshire. 
Hey guys, I just got done with BBC Radio Berkshire. Um, gotta say, it is an incredible experience. I'm proper buzzing right now. Um, so, basically, what happened was um, I got to have an interview with the presenter Sarah Walker, uh, and then I was I had to sit down, still in the sort of um, I guess the presenter's room, if you like, and draw her in her element. Draw. Um, while she's still doing pre presenting, which is essentially the news, the weather, the travel, that sort of thing, she had another um, uh, colleague who came in and would do uh, some segments as well, so I had to draw her. So very, 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 very interesting challenge in terms of drawing from life um, and not having a static reference, uh, like a draw from, from images. The other, the other challenge was to draw their guest. Uh, today it was James Martin. Uh, if you, any of you guys know, he's kind of like a, a popular TV chef presenter kind of guy here in the UK. Um, so I had a bit of fun with that, and then there's another guy I had to draw, um, but they gave me an image of him as opposed to uh, in person. So, very interesting challenge. Worked for about an hour and a half from 11 to about half 12, draw four images, and th the idea was to draw them in a superhero fashion in order to kind of, you know, um, shout about uh, Reading Comic Con this weekend. Um, so they all loved it so and i was really chuffed with it um you know dr especially as an artist drawing outside of my element um in unfamiliar surroundings not in my my you know my my with my creature comforts um so i'm very happy with how it came out um so you guys can let me know what you will think um i was very chuffed hope you can recognize uh, the celebrity in the picture and let me know what you think um i'm still on a high i'm about to go drive home now um and uh do all the sort of social media stuff with it so um let me know what you think um don't forget to like comment subscribe and see you all soon